Mass vaccination has started, but still we can see there is a steep rise in the cases in most of the countries. It looks very strange, isn't it? Let's understand why it is happening. Hello my dear friends, I am Poonam and you are watching Biology Explained. The active cases in India is rising pretty fast and I think these are the three probable reasons why the active cases are rising even after vaccination. Point number three, no mask, no physical distance. So after the active cases started declining in India, we all became very reluctant and stopped using masks and we did not maintain physical distance. This gave the virus a huge chance to spread, as a result of which community transmission started again. And this is one of the reasons why we are seeing so much increase in the number of cases. I think the younger generation has to be much more careful now. They are going out without masks and they can bring the disease to the elderly people. Moreover, opening of school, gyms, political and non-political gathering has also resulted in the increase in cases. Point number two, new variants are coming. Virus will mutate and evolve. That is very natural. These days we can see the new variants like the UK variant, Brazil variant, South Africa variant and these variants help in transmission of the disease much faster. As a result, the active cases are increasing much faster. Recently we are hearing about the double mutant variant in India. So basically it is a race between the vaccination process and the virus mutating. If we can vaccinate more people at a faster rate than the rate at which virus is mutating, then only we will win the race. So we have to vaccinate people at a much faster rate. However, we should remember that the vaccines which are available should be capable of working against the new variants. That is very important. And most important point, we should attain herd immunity to see a decline in the cases. What is herd immunity? Herd immunity is an indirect process of protection given to the non-immunized people when a mass population is immunized. Let's consider we have a population. Now when most of the people will be immunized, then the non-immunized people will get indirect protection. And this is the basic concept of herd immunity. If you want to know more about herd immunity, refer to my video. I will provide the link in the description. Now, to have herd immunity, 70% of the population should be immunized. So, this can be done by vaccination. So, 70% of the population should be vaccinated. So, it will take some time. The vaccination process has just begun and immunizing 70% of the population will take some time. And once we attain herd immunity, we will see a sharp decline in the cases. So, until we attain herd immunity, please wear masks and maintain physical distance. And don't forget to take the vaccine to attain herd immunity faster. Which vaccine you should take? Just take whatever is available to you. Because it is too early to say which vaccine is better than other at this point of time in terms of efficacy, also in terms of side effect because we don't have so much of data. It will take some time to gather more data so that we can understand which vaccine is better. But remember all the vaccines will give you some amount of protection at least. So don't hesitate to take the vaccine. Take the vaccine whatever is available to you and wear mask and maintain physical distance so that we can all fight against the virus and win the race. This leads me to the question of the day. What according to you is the reason for this steep increase in active cases all over the world? Let me know in the comment. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.